Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is all about how I get my baby to sleep. You guys have all asked for this video, so here goes. If you're new to my channel, I'm Jennifer and I'm a mummy of two. I've got a gorgeous little boy called Ralph who is four and a beautiful little baby girl called Olivia who has just turned one. So this video is all about Olivia and how I get her to sleep. Although we kind of have a rough routine, our routine does change and Olivia will fall asleep depending on what we're doing that day, whether we're at home, whether we're out and about. So I'll just kind of give you a rough idea of how she might fall asleep throughout the day. So Olivia's first nap of the day could be anything from around nine o'clock in the morning. And it's a bit hit and miss how she falls asleep on that nap because that is when I need to do the school run with my son. So if we're driving to school, Olivia sometimes falls asleep in her car seat. If she does that though, by the time I've got back from the school run, I can't move her into her cot because she would have had enough sleep that if I touch her, she will just wake up instantly. So sometimes I leave her in her car seat to finish off her nap and I'll just put her somewhere like in the lounge so it's nice and quiet. Um, other times we will walk to school so she'll be in the pram she might fall asleep on the pram as well so once I get home I'll just leave her to finish off her sleep in the pram as well obviously if she's got any layers on I'll just make sure that she's cool and not going to get over like hot that way sometimes we do the school run and she doesn't fall asleep at all and we get home and she's still wide awake and happy um, and she's due a, her milk about 10 o'clock in the morning so sometimes she won't have her nap till she's had that bottle but that bottle normally makes her fall asleep so after she's fallen asleep on a bottle I actually get to have some nice sleepy cuddles because now she's one we don't really get many of those anymore so I just enjoy a little cuddle and then I will just transfer her to her cot and she will normally have an hour's sleep Olivia will normally have another nap around sort of mid-afternoon. It could be anything from like half past one, two o'clock, and she will normally have another hour. Again, it depends what we're doing as to where she falls asleep, but I do try and stay home around that time so that she does have her nap in her cot, so she actually goes down in her cot. I just find if she has one nap a day where she is in her cot for that, it does help her going to bed in the evening. At the minute, if I know that Olivia's getting sleepy, I can tell she starts getting a bit whingy, she starts sort of rubbing her eyes a lot of the time I can just put her down in her cot give her a dummy give her a little teddy she always snuggles in with her little bunny and she will often just go to sleep by herself I will say though it hasn't always been that way um, Olivia's always slept really well as a baby I think because she's my second one I haven't really had time to kind of rock her to sleep and do all the things maybe I did with Ralph um, she's just had to go in her cot and go to sleep herself because I've been busy with my son because he's needed me so Olivia learned from quite a young age to just sleep by herself but once we hit around nine months I don't know if it was the sleep regression stage I don't know if it was the teething stage but something changed all of that and whenever I put her in her cot instantly she would turn around stand up and just scream for me to come back into the room it was a really sort of tough time um I tried all different things I tried to put my hand on her back I tried to just sit in her room with her so that she knew I was there none of that worked she still stood up she just wanted me to pick her up all the time so I actually tried the Ferber method um, this is where you do sort of put your baby down you sit to them you walk out the room they will cry but you have to leave them it's horrendous it's the worst thing in the world hearing your baby cry and scream for you is I just felt like the worst mum ever but as much as I needed her to sleep for me to get sleep at night, I also needed her to sleep for her because if she wasn't getting the sleep she needed, she was ratty in the day, she was upset and that's not her, she's such a happy little baby and when she actually learnt to go by to sleep by herself, she actually sleeps a lot better. So with the Ferber method, like I said, you sit with them, you walk out the room, I normally left it like a minute, two minutes top and then I went back into her, I literally couldn't hear her crying like any longer than that. Um, and I would just go back in, I would give her a cuddle, but not pick her up. I'd lean in, give her a cuddle, like shush her, give her a little kiss, and I would lay her back down and walk back out the room. You have to repeat this, it's awful. But actually, the first time you do it is the worst time. Every time after that, they learn that you're not going to pick them up. And it's always a little bit less each time before they actually fall asleep. And by like a week, by the end of the week, she was back to sleep by herself. So it does work. It is hard, but now Olivia will just go back to sleep by herself and she's sleeping so well. She's sleeping through the night again. 
If we are out and about though, like I said, Olivia might then sleep in the car or the pram depending on where we're going. If I'm having like a wander around the high street or I've been out then, why I'm pushing the pram around, she might have a sleep in that before I then go and do the school run and pick Ralph up again at three o'clock. So Olivia's last sleep of the day is bedtime and we do have a bedtime routine. I think this really does help in setting your children up to know like now's the time to go to sleep. Obviously because I've got a son already, he already had a bedtime routine. So I've just sort of fitted in Olivia with the same routine as him. So about sort of 6, 6.30 they will both have a bath and then obviously we do pyjamas and clean their teeth. Ralph will always have a bedtime story before he goes to bed. Sometimes Olivia's had that with us while she's having her bottle, but now Ralph's getting a little bit older. He likes to stay up a little bit later than Olivia. So I will give her her bottle and often she will fall asleep on that and I will just take her up into her cot. She normally goes to bed about seven o'clock. The only thing when she falls asleep on her bottle, again, it's lovely because I get those nice sleepy cuddles and when I transfer her to her cot, she normally does go straight to sleep. But what I find is she might often wake up in the night on after falling asleep that way because she's not actually gone to sleep herself. She's gone to sleep with the comfort of me and the bottle. So she might wake up for me in the night, but normally she just sort of stirs. I just sort of give her a little cuddle, lay her back down and she'll go back off to sleep. So it's not a big deal, but it is broken sleep for me and for her. However, the last sort of week or two, she hasn't actually fallen asleep on her bottle. She's had it and just quite happily just sort of sat in my arms, but she's been wide awake looking around and first of all I was like no is she gonna go to sleep but I still just took her up put her in her bed put her in a grow bag gave her a dummy gave her a teddy and she just rolled over snuggled in and went to sleep by herself and I was like yes <laughs> so there you go that is how Olivia goes to sleep as you can see it's not just like one way and that works for us it all depends on what we're doing where we're going how Olivia's feeling obviously they will have times where they're teething they do need a few more cuddles and they might need you in the night anyway I hope that you found this video useful thank you so much much for watching i'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and hope to see you again soon bye i've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking